Hello and welcome to Science with Greg. My name isn't Greg, my name is Jake, and today I'm going to be showing you a very simple tutorial on how to make charcoal. Uh, all the things you see on the table in front of you is everything you need. You need a tin to put it in. Uh, I think this tin is literally made out of tin, um, so it only lasts about five times. I think before like the bottom starts to fall off and things like that. If you can get a steel tin, then you know, go ahead, use a steel tin that has a sealable lid. For coffee tins or whatever, they're, they're fine. And as long as you can get a hole in the top and it seals up, then that'll be absolutely perfect. Um, you're going to need something like a rock or anything um, to whack the top down to the, the top of the paint tin um, to get it all nice and sealed. Um, then you need a uh, maybe a nail or a sh two sharp rocks. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a I, I used, I think I used a nail um, to penetrate a hole in the very top of the tin to let some of the gas out. You will notice when you're doing it, the gas will leak out the sides, um, but that's perfectly fine. As long as it's pretty much as tight as you can get it, it'll be perfect. Um, and I've got two types of wood here. To the left, I've got wood I'm going to use for burning. Um, and the other wood, which is with little tiny sticks, is actually willow. Um, and you will find that willow doesn't burn. It only, it only, well, it will burn, but it will just sort of go out straight away. So it actually works really well for charcoal, which I was surprised at. Alright, so after a few minutes of your um, charcoal tin being in the fire, you should see flames um, emerging from the sides of the lid. Um, <laughs> mine obviously weren't sealed that well, um, and the hole in the middle isn't being used at all, um, but it does later on, the gas eventually comes out of there. Um, but this is this is perfectly normal. Sometimes it can be either paint or the coating on the tin can actually catch fire as well. Um, but in this case, this is literally the gas from the wood igniting as it comes out and you can see there's a massive flame coming out one side and it makes quite a loud roaring noise which is quite cool um, I think the wetter your wood the more uh, the more moisture and things will be coming out um, and as, as time progresses uh, these flames will die down um, and eventually you'll get to a point where the flame is completely gone I normally wait a few minutes once I see the flame has completely disappeared and then I will take it out of the uh, out of the fire um, and then you want to leave it cool down for a bit um, and you want to leave a nail in the top or something covering up the main hole I mean obviously because of the flames all coming out the sides there's probably um, there's probably gaps all over the lid um, 
but just in case put a little nail or something in the top of the lid to stop any sparks going in and igniting your charcoal inside uh, so leave that for around basically 10 minutes or so um, until it's cooled right down uh, and then you can open it up with your chisel or whatever your little stick or a stone um, and you want to look inside and hopefully you should just be able to easily snap it it should almost fall apart depending on how big your pieces are when you put in this probably takes like the largest ones I have in here will probably take about 45 minutes I reckon um, but if you're gonna go for big bits that are like an inch thick or even two inches they could take up to an hour or an hour and a half up to maybe even two hours um, you could put a whole log inside of the tin and have it for like nine hours or something um, I should probably experiment and try that with a big log and then you know break it up afterwards um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much all there is to making charcoal it's a very simple process um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was very helpful I hope uh, this has been Science with Greg thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye